Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claude Mir, and today I show the physical difference between an analog and IP security camera. So have you ever been in a situation where you need to install a security camera for your customer, but you have no idea about the differences between an analog and IP camera? So don't worry because today you're gonna learn more about them. But first, before you start, just subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up if you like the video. So let's take a look at the security camera I have just right here. The first one is an analog box camera. In this box part, the camera has the circuitry. And here is the lens. In the back part of the security camera, there is a BNC connector where it's possible to connect the cable that's coming from the digital video recorder or from the monitor. And here is the connection for the power supply, an LED to show that the camera is on, and the buttons to control the OSD menu that shows up in the monitor. So it's pretty simple, just need to connect the coaxial cable, the power supply, and you're gonna have the image in your analog monitor or in your digital video recorder. It's very, very easy. You can install very, very fast. So let's just take a look at here at the IP security camera. In the back part, there is a connection for a UTP cable, a connector for the power supply, audio input, audio output, a reset button, just in case you need to recover from a lost password, a focus button, that you can press and the camera just the focus by itself. A micro SD card slot, a SD card LED that indicates the camera is recording, a LED power supply to indicate the camera is on, and some input and output external sensor alarms. So for the analog model, you just need to connect the cables from the security camera to the DVR and do some recording configuration in the DVR. For the IP model, you have to connect the cables from the security camera to the NVR, that's a network video recorder, and do some configuration on both devices. Of course, there are a lot of differences between an analog and IP security camera, mainly because IP camera is an intelligent device that can work by itself. So you can connect a network cable from the camera to a router, for example, and then you can have remote access to the camera directly from the internet. It's also possible to record directly into the camera micro SD card, and there is no way you can do the same thing in analog model. The IP camera can also work with intelligent analytic videos, send email if somebody breaks into your house, for example, and you can have some kind of configuration like this by using analog system, but everything is done in the digital video record and not by the analog camera itself. There are also a lot of different advantages you can find in the IP security camera, but that is something I will talk about in other videos. So that's all for today. If you wanna learn more, just hit the link below in the description to download your free guide. Hit the thumbs up, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.